Hello friends, my name is Vaseem and I welcome you all to this channel Smart Study. So friends, today I am going to discuss a circular arrangement in which some people are facing inside and some are facing outside. So this is having only one parameter. So based on that we are going to find out who is sitting where in this arrangement. So friends, this is an important question because uh, some, some questions of this kind will also be asked in the actual examination. So try to practice more and more amount of this kind of questions so that you can do it very easily. So friends, without wasting much time, let's go ahead. But when you come across the question, try to solve the question by yourself. So let's go ahead. As you can see, the question here is 8 persons A, B, C, D, P, Q, R and S are sitting around the circle, around the circle, not in the same order. So see here friends, there are 8 persons. Those 8 persons are sitting around the circle. So, but not in the same order which is given here. So, again, the next information is three of them are facing towards the center of circle while others are facing outside. So, see here friends. So, three of them are facing towards the center of circle. So, there are three persons who are going to face towards the center. Let's say these are the three persons who are going to face center. While others are facing outside, it means that so the remaining persons are going to face outside. So the remaining person will be facing outward. So I hope you understood. So what we have to do here is we need to find out which of these eight persons are going to sit where in this arrangement, and we even need to find out which of these three persons out of these three persons who are going to face center and who are going to face outside. So let's try to do it, friends. As you can see, the first information is D is sitting third to the right of A. So see here friends, D is sitting third to the right of A. A's third right must be D. So, but we are not sure in which direction A is facing. So because we are not sure, we can go along with two possibilities here. So let's assume that A is facing center in one case and in the other case, A is facing outward. We are going to assume in that two ways. So let's put it here. So let's a is going to face center. So if A is facing center, D is sitting third to the right of A. So A's third right, A's right would be this direction. So A's third right would be 1, 2, 3. So D has to be substituted here. In the same manner, if A is facing outward, A's third right. So if A is facing outward, A's right would be this direction. A's third right would be 1, 2, 3. So D has to be substituted here. The next information is there are two persons between D and Q. So see here friends, there are two persons sitting between D and Q. Between D and Q there must be a gap of only two persons. So see here friends, D is here, 1, 2, Q can be substituted here but already A is there. So Q cannot be substituted here. If we go this side, 1, 2, so Q has to be substituted here. In the same manner, D is here, between D and Q there is a gap of two persons. So D is here, 1, 2. Q cannot be substituted here because already A is there. If you go this side, 1, 2. So Q has to be substituted here. I hope you understood. The next information is C and P are immediate neighbors and both are facing opposite directions. So see here friends, C and P are immediate neighbors to each other. So C and P are immediate neighbors and both are facing opposite direction. So both are facing opposite direction means what? So if so if one person is facing center, the other person will be facing outward. So these persons are facing opposite directions. So if one person is facing center, the other person will be facing outward. If one person is facing center, if this person is facing center, this person has to face the opposite direction. Right. The next information is C and P both are not immediate neighbors of Q. So see here friends, C and P both are not immediate neighbors of Q. If C and P are not immediate neighbors of Q, I can surely say that these C and P are not going to sit here and these C and P cannot be seated here. If C is not coming here, P cannot be substituted here. In the same manner, if P is not coming here, C cannot be substituted. So it is said that C and P are not going to sit next to two, I mean these two persons are not an immediate neighbor to Q. So therefore, if these two persons are not going to sit either here or here, I can surely say that these two people cannot be seated here. But because if C is here, P has to be here. If P is, if P is here, C has to be here. 
so if both the persons are not going to sit here they cannot be at these two places so wo, again they cannot be seated here as well only possibility is that c or p can be either here c or p can be here in the same manner c or p cannot be an immediate neighbor to q so therefore c or p cannot be substituted either here or here if these two persons are not seated at these two particular places so i can surely say that this persons cannot be seated here only possible chance is c or p can be either here so c or p can be at this particular place so based on the informations which are given so we find out in which uh, place they are going to sit so but uh, the, these two persons are going to face opposite directions so up facing both are facing opposite direction means if one is facing center the other one has to face outward and vice versa so the next information here is s is sitting third to the right of c so s is going to sit third to the right of c c is third right should be yes so c is third right should be yes so let's say so we we, we already know that either c or p are going to face inward or outward so these two persons are going to face the opposite direction to each other so see our friends if c is facing towards center c is third right would be this direction c is right would be this direction so c is third right would be 1 2 3 so q is there q is already here so therefore i can surely say that so if q is here s cannot be substituted here if q, if c is facing outward c is right would be this direction c is third right would be 1 2 3 So S can be substituted here. In the same manner, if I'm going to put C here, if C is facing center, C is third right would be one, two, three. So S has to be substituted here. So if C is facing outward, C is third right would be one, two, three. So S has to be substituted here. So it forms three possible distances. So because of that, we cannot substitute this information. Let's check out the next information. So there are one, there is one person sitting between S and R. So see, our friends. Between S yes and R, there is a gap of one person. So let's try to substitute based on this. So if C is facing, I mean C cannot face center. If C is facing center, C is third right would be one two. So Q is already there, so we cannot substitute S yes here. So if C is facing outward, C is third right would be this one two three. So S yes has to be substituted here. If S yes is here between S and R, there must be a gap of one person. One person R cannot be substituted here. So one person. So C R friends. we already know that c r p has to be substituted here we already know that c r p has to be substituted here so therefore s cannot be substituted here i hope you understood i repeat the concept once again for your sake so if c is facing outward at this particular place c is third right would be 1 2 3 yes has to be substituted here we already know that between s and r there is a gap of one person if s is here one person r cannot be substituted here why because already q is there If S is here, one person, so R cannot be substituted here as well. We already know that C R P has to be substituted at this at this place. So therefore, I can surely say that this place is not for C. So this place is for P, and this place has to be for C. So this place has to be for C. Let's say if C is facing center, if C is facing center, C is third right would be one, two, three. So S has to be substituted. So between S and R, there must be a gap of one person. So yes, S is here. One person R can be substituted here. If C is facing outward, C is third right would be one, two, three. So S can be substituted here. So between S and R, there must be a gap of one person. If S is here, one person R can be substituted here. So again, it forms two possible distances. So because of that, I cannot substitute this information. Right. Let's try to put it here. If, let's say if C is here. C is third right. If C is facing center, C is third right would be one, two, three. So S has to be substituted here. So we already know that between S and R, there must be a gap of one person. If S is here, one person R cannot be substituted here. So if you go this side, if S is here, one person R cannot be substituted here as well. Why? Because we already know that. So Q, sorry, P, C or P has to be substituted here. So here in this case, C is not going to face center. If C is facing outward, C is facing outward. C is right would be this direction. C is third right would be one, two, three. This is the place where C has to be. I mean, S has to be substituted. That is not possible once again. So therefore, I can surely say that C will not come at this place. C doesn't come at this place. P has to be substituted. If P is here, so I can surely say that C has to be at this place. 
So let's say if C is facing center, C is third right would be 1, 2, 3. So S has to be substituted here. If S is here, R cannot be here. So one person R can be here. If C is here, one, I mean if C is facing towards center, sorry, if C is facing outward, C is third right would be 1, 2, 3. So S can be here. Between S and R, there is a gap of one person. Again, it forms two possibilities. Right, we cannot substitute this information, friends. Let us keep this information on hold. The next information is Q and D are facing opposite directions. So, like if Q is facing inside, then D is facing outside and vice versa. So, see here friends, Q and D are going to face opposite directions. So, Q and D are going to face opposite directions. So, they are not going to face the same directions. So, if one person is, if Q is facing center, the other person, D has to face outward. If D is facing center, this person has to face outward. Okay, the next information is B is sitting immediate left of D. So B is sitting immediate left of D. So B is here, D cannot be substituted. I mean B cannot be substituted here. Only possible chances B has to be substituted here. If B is immediate left of D, so B has to face center. If B is facing center, B's immediate left would be B's immediate left would sorry, D's immediate left would be B. In the same manner, D is here. So B cannot be substituted here. So if I'm going to put B here, so to the immediate left of B, we in this case, so D has to face outward. So if D is facing outward, D's immediate left would be this, immediate left would be this place. So D's immediate left would be B. I hope you understood. All right. So based on this information, we can substitute here. See here friends. So C's third right would be yes. If C is facing outward, C's right would be this one, two, three. So yes. Again, it is this a little hectic, friends. If C is facing outward, C's third right would be this. If C is facing center, one, two, three, yes. C is facing again, it forms many possibilities. So we cannot substitute based on this as well. Alright. The next information is yes, it's second to the right of R. So yes is going to sit second to the right of R. R's end right must be yes. If R is here, R's, R is facing center, R's second right would be one person. Yes can be substituted here. Okay. The next information is D and S face same direction. So D and S are going to face the same direction. If D is facing center, so S is facing center. So D and S going to face same directions. So here D is facing outward. S has to face outward in this case. Again, if in this case D is facing center, S has to face inward in this case. Right. The next information, the last information is D and C faces opposite direction. So D and C are going to face opposite direction. So see here friends, if D is facing center, C has to face outward. So in this case, D is facing center. In now we have to, it is surely say that, so C has to face outward. In this case, if D is facing outward, then C has to face inward. Now we can substitute this information. C's third right must be yes. So C's third right must be yes. So C is facing outward. C's third right, C's third right would be 1, 2, 3. So S has to be substituted here. Between S and R, there is a gap of one person. S is here, one person. R has to be substituted here. In this case, C is facing center. C's third right would be 1, 2, 3. S has to be substituted here. Between S and R, there must be a gap of one person. S is here, one person. R has to be substituted here. So this is also done. This is also done. C, R, P are immediate neighbors. So this is also done. C, R, P are going to face opposite direction. So C is facing outward, then P has to face inward. In this case, C is facing inward, then P has to face outward. So this is also done. So Q and D are going to face opposite direction. If Q is facing center, D is going to face outward. If D is facing center, Q has to face outward. So D is facing center in this case. If D is facing center in this case, Q has to face outward. In the same manner, D is facing outward here then Q has to face center in this case. So this is also done. Okay. 
so the last information i mean r second right is yes so r second right must be yes so if r is facing center r right would be this r second right would be 1 2 yes has to be substituted in the same manner r second right must be yes if r is facing outward r right would be this r second right would be 1 2 so yes has to be substituted so this is also done so d and s yes are going to face the same direction so d and s are going to face the same direction so here d is facing outward so s yes has to face outward In the same manner here d is facing center then s yes has to face center here as well so eventually we have finished finished up doing this but we have to find out which of these two arrangements is correct because uh, uh, both are looking to be correct but one of these is incorrect actually so therefore let's try to sorry for this so let's try to find out which of these two is correct so it is said that three of them are facing towards the center while others are facing outward so we need to check out which of the three persons has to face inward so in this case so this person is one person is facing center second person is also facing center three persons facing center four persons are facing center so but it is said what so three person three of them are facing center so if three are three of them facing center here in this case four of them are facing center so therefore this is absolutely wrong so this can be correct so this person is facing center one so this person is facing center two this person is facing center so according to the information which we have tried so only three persons are facing center so the remaining person persons has to face outward so i can surely say that b is going to face outward so 1 2 3 these three persons are going to face center so the others are going to face outward so this is all for today friends thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead so before ending up this session i request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment box thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead